Thank you for tuning in. It's the first time you tuning in or have you for. Again, my name is Ron Johnson. What I do is I talk about my quarks behind me and I talk about cognitive health because mental well-being, or I call it cognitive health, is important to life. Well, the video I'm about to show today is going to be very, very sensitive. But first, let me tell you this. I love my hobby. I love my fish. And I name my fish because they're actually pets. So my mascot, Diamond, the Black Diamond Stingray, actually passed away a few days ago. It was out of the blue and it was rampant and didn't expect it to happen. Normally I feed in the evening, I, I feed them shrimp, uh, him and Athena, it's in the same tank, tank right behind me, it's empty right now. I feed him shrimp and all of a sudden you can see he's spazzing out and going out of control. Look at this video and see actually what's happening. All right, thank you for watching my video, and it's very heartbreaking to see animals struggle. Like I said, I love my animals. So the video I'm going to show next is going to be about how I actually dissected diamond. Um, Warren Hugin is not as the best. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pathologist. Never done this before, but I wanted to see because I suspected he was choking on food. But it, it wasn't what I expected. You'll see that in the video. But again, please be kind first time doing it please leave comments down below if it's something you want to add to it or you want to you know give suggestions because i'm here to learn like everybody else is and if you ever had a stingray never happened before it can be very challenging it's a lot of work put into it it's a lot of time it's a lot of money and a lot of effort and i care about my animals I had this out for over 18 months so be kind leave a comment below and watch the video Okay, so one thing that's really indicative of being in the aquarium hobby and it's in general is that things happen just like that. And things happen without you even knowing it. Uh, you can be vigilant, you can do water changes, you can do everything you can, but you know, it happens. And one thing you see right here in the tank right here is diamond. Now, though it appears diamond is okay, maybe breathing, it's not breathing. So last night when I fed diamond, I feed them usually shrimp, both of them, Athena and diamond. I beat them shrimp and I kind of turned my back to feed my other aquariums and I saw this dude, which I'll show right now what it looks like, kind of swimming erratically, swimming around, not breathing right. And what I noticed is that it was gasping for air. So what can happen sometimes, I think what happened to Diamond is he was in the tank, he swallowed a big piece of food, started choking and couldn't get it out, right? He couldn't throw it out. And um, obviously spazzed out. Um, I thought he would survive. This morning he was fine, but now he's just the way he is. So what I'm going to do, let me get my net, which is here. I'm going to go ahead and fish him out of the tank itself. So that way I can do something different today. So yeah, he, yeah, even his mouth is open. I mean, you can tell that something was, something was up here. So I'm going to take Diamond out. Oh my God, he's pretty heavy too. Man, this is a big size ray. So I'm gonna put diamond right here in obviously bucket. So you guys do know one thing I do with all my stingrays is I like to say goodbye. And the way I say goodbye is I have this stinger here, which is diamonds, and I'm just gonna cut it right there. And that is a stinger. That's how I say my final goodbye is my stingrays. I didn't mention earlier, but when I took them out and before I cooked the stingrays, if I flip diamond over, this is how it looks in the back. And obviously, He's already starting to decay. The mouth is open, but you can see some, something's wrong here, right? And obviously there's blood here, right? You see this blood coming out already from the stingray. So something caused him to suffocate, not breathe, right? So I'm going to flip him over again and um, obviously he started to breathe. But you can see how big he it is. It's a good size stingray, almost getting to the point where it's almost breathing size. Okay, well, I had a makeshift, as you know, scalpel, or whatever this is called. Obviously, not a regular scalpel. This is for plants. It's not sharp enough. So, I'm going to have a doctor. I'm going to use a regular boxer because I'm going to learn and, and open it up. So, I'm going to kind of 
pierce the skin. There we go. Oh, you can see some yellow stuff is coming out already. So I, I pierce something. I'm going to see what's going on here. And then I'm going to open this up. Okay, and there's obviously something coming out. That's probably his liver, which is probably see here. It's coming out. Do this side right here. So he, he definitely looks healthy. I mean, that's a healthy liver. Look how, look how big that is. At least I think it's liver. And um, a bit more. The smell isn't too hot. Oh, man, he has some internal bleeding here. Unless I cut something, which I probably did. Uh, there's liver actually this part of stomach but you can see his organs are there and look pretty good in healthy shape overall so I don't know what why, why how you stop eating itself so second take I'm gonna cut like I said I think he was choking so I'm gonna kind of cut in his mouth here and see what's going on and again why I'm doing this, it's going to be kind of hard because obviously this is where his actual plate, these are his ribs here and his mouth is actually here. So let me see if something was lodged in his throat. Because like I said earlier, I think he was choking. I couldn't tell what he was choking on, but something was definitely lodged in there. So let me use my knife again so I can cut through this. There we go. Yep, bridge cage there. Okay, so I'm looking to the esophagus, which is technically right there. And nothing seems to be lodged in there whatsoever. So I don't know what happened, why I got shocked, and why he stopped breathing, but there's nothing actually lodged in there. So that's his whole mouth, that's his whole esophagus. I said broke through the ribs itself. But if you look kind of closely, there's actually nothing in there. So my theory of something being lodged is, is really off. There's nothing like she lodged in his throat into his esophagus. And I'm cut open a little bit more. And, yep, there's actually nothing actually lodged in there. So that's the throat. So maybe it was something lodged in there, and then he started dying, but no. So my theory of being lodged in the throat, nothing actually is lodged in there whatsoever. So I want to figure that out, and that's exactly what I did is I opened up the stingray, see if there's anything lodged inside his throat. It could have been lodged in his throat. Then what tended to happen is that it got passed into his stomach, and you know, his stomach's pretty full. And you can see he was okay, but my theory of logic throw was not there. He could have been shocked by the food, and the food worked its way self, worked its way down into his stomach. And just because of the shock and how you felt, it just didn't happen. So, again, first time ever doing this. So don't hate me too much because first time doing this. But I want to see how my stingray is doing. I want to learn more about the anatomy of stingray. First time doing this, but guys, don't forget to subscribe, listen, comment, let me know what's going on, and I appreciate the feedback too. Talk to you soon.